What's up, y'all? Uh, Saturday night. I don't know what time is it. It's dark outside. It's got to be about 10 o'clock. Nighttime. Somewhere in there. Nighttime. We're getting into nighttime. All right. So, you know me. I'm Delmer Wood. This is my boy, Peter Allen Bartlett, better known as Pinter. Lord have mercy. Uh, we've been friends now, what? 10, 11, 12 years going on? A little over a decade. Over a decade. All right. Something cool that I know about him that I know nobody else has. I know a lot of people with gauges. I know a lot of people with all kinds of different funky shit. Like he, right now he's playing with this stupid shit that I gave him for his phone. <sighs> Peter Allen Bartlett. Lord have mercy. So anyways, he has the coolest gauges you will ever see. Let me see one thing. So, check this out. I'm going to hold it up here. Hopefully, real easy. Can you guys see that? Same as that one. Can you guys see what that is? What is it, Pete? They are watch cogs from my grandfather's watch. Watch cogs from his grandfather's watch. You know in, what's funny? Encased in clear resin, right? Yeah, encased in clear resin. You know what's yeah. funny? What's funny? Now they sell these. If you look up on eBay or wherever, it's like it's steampunk, whatever. And yeah. Then, yeah they sell so, them. so, so you're the only one I've ever seen with them. And I know that they're near and dear to you because they came from your grandfather's watch. Yep. And now you can buy them that look similar to them. Steampunk yeah. on eBay. Yeah. Steampunk is the style. Yeah, the style. It's style. not the name of the company. Um, What's your hat say? What's it say? It says Cali. And the reason I like that hat is because it's floral. It's got flowers on it. And he's got the ball to wear flowers. <laughs> That's awesome. Peter Allen also has one of the baddest tattoos that you will ever see. And hopefully, he's going to show us right now. Let's see your tattoo, Pete. On your back. Check this shit out. You want to talk about some serious pain? This shit. This shit right here had to hurt. Can you see it? Turn this way. Look. Pull your pants up. Can you see it? Right there? Can you see it? We can see it. Let him just soak it in for a second. Stretch back. Stretch out. Stretch your shoulders. No, the other way. Stretch your shoulders up. Yeah, there you go. Can you see that shit? You can't tell me that didn't hurt. So what's it say on the top? It says this. Fuck you. <laughs> that, shit, that shit is... Put it away. Put it away. That shit is funny. That shit is funny. So... We had this little arm thing here for the cell phone. It's made. It's actually hooked on the desk here, and uh, you're supposed to be able to put the phone wherever you want it. You hook it onto a table or somewhere, you know, a coffee table, TV tray, and have the phone up in front of you. Peter Allen's going to show us the goofy way that he uh, adjusts this thing. Now, what are you going to do with it, Pete? But all right, he's going to show you how to watch TV in front of your face. <laughs> This goofy motherfucker, I swear. <laughs> Check this out. Here he goes. And Pete and a friend of mine, Matt, and another guy I work with named Josh, kind of got me started back in vaping. Got a new Sigali Chaos. Uh, eight mil tank, little black tar juice in there. Actually, it's uh, rocket punch, uh, cake berry blaster. Not a bad flavor. Pretty good. Tastes like berry cheesecake. So this is how he chills. You see this? Got his vapor going on. We're blowing up the house, just fogging things out in here, chilling Saturday night, and we got a TV, multiple computer screens, and this fool's watching his, uh, what? 
F is for family. F is for family. That's that cartoon we were just watching, based in 1973. Uh, oh, so check this out. So with your new phone, an S8, an S8 or a Note 8 or better. Anyone nope. with the, with the um, USB, the micro USB uh, Class C? Micro USB Class C. That would be uh, the new style here. It's like the rounded one. It's, the like little, the, it's like the new Apple charger. Yeah, the new the new charger. Okay. So this here, I'm going to put my glasses on because I kind of need it for this. So this here is $3 on eBay. Or you can buy, okay, or there's what comes with your phone called a dongle, which is basically the same thing as this. It plugs into your phone charger port. It is USB. So let's say you have Pandora Music. You like all the videos that you've liked on your Pandora. Oh. Download something to your phone. Well, let's say you have downloaded music to your phone. Let's say that you have music downloaded to your phone. And this is with an Android phone, not an Apple, right? Not an Apple. Not an Apple. So this is an Android thing only, okay? So what we can do is we can plug in the dongle in the bottom like that. And then this is a flash drive. So have you ever, have you ever... Bluetooth your phone to your stereo in your car and notice that you don't get a whole lot of volume. The problem with Bluetoothing your phone is, hold on. Big break. All right, got it. Big break. Big break. So when you Bluetooth your phone to your new car, you don't get a whole lot of volume. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's the connection, it's whatever. So if you go this route with a flash drive, you download your music from the phone to the flash drive, take flash drive out and then plug it into your car. Now you have about 80% volume instead of 30 or 40% volume. Don't forget to turn on the button. Yeah, well, they'll have to figure all that out on their own because I don't know all that shit. <clears throat> Unless you want to go through and explain the whole deal, the whole thing on how to do it. But anyways, so just make sure that you know what the hell you're doing before you go and do it. So you can't just unplug it and go plug it into your car. You have to eject it from the phone. So it's just like you, you're you taking your, uh, you're popping the tape out of your out of your uh, your old tape player, you press the eject button. So you have to not just pull this out from the phone, apparently. You have to go into your phone and eject this out of the dongle. And or, then... Or else you will corrupt your data. Or else you will corrupt your data and you have to start all over again. Yeah. So... And this is a 64. This is a 64 gig flash drive. Music, video, anything. And you want to see how big it is? Here is a genuine 1972, the year I was born, silver dollar. That's how big that is. It's tiny. And that holds 64 gig of music. What else you got for me, Peter Allen? Any updates in the world? Anything going on that we need to know? What's uh, what's the haps on the streets? Anything you want to talk about? Nothing? We all good? You just talk about regular American banter. About regular American banter. What do you want to talk about? President. The president? Hot topic. Hot topic. What's the hot topic? I think he's been in with Russia. Okay. Since the beginning. Uno momento, por favor. Since the beginning. 
I don't know. I don't know if you know. It's kind of they passed the thing where you can't have any dealing with Russia, like you know, any, you know, legislature or anything like that. Okay. But I think he's in bed with them. Like, you know what I mean? You think so? Bump and buzzy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Think? yeah. So I think that um, you know he's been breaking laws from the beginning. But on the other hand, the economy's up. You know what I mean? He's got a stern point of view about China. You. China too. China too. He's got a certain point of view about getting shit done. Just like fuck it, you can just get shit done. Yeah. So I'm for Trump. So do you think that being a successful businessman who's been all the way to the top and been all the way to the bottom and all the way back to the top and now to the ultimate top in the United States of America and what most people would say ultimately in the world, would you say that? There's no preparation for becoming, I mean, no real preparation for someone to become the president of the United States. Let me ask you another question. I mean, he's going to fuck up. So he's going to fuck he's up. He's going to fuck up because he's got his track record. He's failed in business. Yes, he's but failed. he's also been successful in business. Yes, he has. Which is why our economy is where it's at, on the rise. Let me tell you this. Our economy is... And, and just for the sake of the FBI and CIA and all that shit, this guy don't know shit. This is just his personal opinion, and we're talking about it, and just like his back says, fuck okay. you. So anyways, if you want to listen, go ahead and listen. If you don't want to listen, get the fuck out of here. No, you can do so. Well, that's right. Okay. Give me an example. When the stock market didn't have a top. Yes, didn't have a top. Didn't have a top. And so, and when the stock market was going down, they appointed somebody on the top. They didn't know anything about them. The stock market, the stock market started to rise, right? And so, because he has money... Right? Because he has money, his family has money, he's a very wealthy man, you know what I mean? You know, he's at the top, the economy is rising. That's the only reason, I think. You think so? I think there are a couple other factors, see? He's probably making good good business moves from his experience in business, okay? But also, let's say if somebody was not a good businessman and became president, our economy wouldn't be so good. Even though he might be making good decisions, like it wouldn't follow through because he doesn't have the experience in a successful business. You know, but Let me ask you this question. Yes. A lot of people say that Donald Trump should have never become president of the United States because he has no experience being a politician. And I'm talking about liberals and their opinion of Donald Trump. I think he's in. Okay? Okay. So, when you say that Donald Trump doesn't have the political knowledge to become president of the United States, but when somebody says that Oprah's going to run for president next time around, what's the difference? Uh, Why? Why would Oprah, who's only ever been on TV and had businesses... Be any different than Donald Trump, who's been on TV and owned businesses. Well, how is it that he is not I'll give you two educated two. enough to be president, but you. Oprah is educated enough to be president? I'll give you two factors. Okay. You want to be president. Give me two. Scoot up here a little bit so you can hear you and give a shit away. I'll give you two factors why she won't be president. She's a woman and she's black. But what if she becomes the first black woman president? That won't happen. That's what they said about Barack Obama, and he began. I sat in my living room. I sat in the living room in 2005. I had cable TV. Back then, there was very scarce news and stuff about what was going on, and a lot of things. Media was just sort of really getting rolling, as like it is now. Yeah, well, not like it is now, because nothing's ever been like it is now. But um, my wife and I sat in front of the TV watching. A news channel, and I don't remember which one it was. And this guy came on, and his name was Barack Obama. And I told my wife, that will be the first black president of the United States of America. You're saying you think I'm fine? No, I'm saying that I called it. But I do think a woman president is on its way. I'm not going to say that it's Oprah, but a woman president is on the way. It may be when Trump is done in five more years, six I, more years, but. I think that the government will fall before we have a woman president. 
You think so? Yeah. All right. The government will fall. So enough about the U.S. government. What do you think about Swenson? Swenson? Watch your steps. Yeah, what do you think about Swenson? Well, of course. What do you think about Swenson trying to be shut down in lieu of putting low-income housing into what's legitimately been a higher echelon neighborhood for so many years, since 1950 when it was built. Are you asking about my personal opinion or my professional opinion? I'm asking about your personal opinion. My personal opinion is the mayor's an idiot and he should, he should leave Swenson alone. Okay. Because Swenson has been there for a very long time. Very long time. It's a place for people in the upper, 1960s. In the upper, I'm going to say upper middle class. And even not that, I mean, you and I have played yeah, golf exactly. there, and neither yeah, one of us are upper middle class. Middle lower, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Lower. Doesn't matter. So, but we've played golf there yeah, I together. Yeah, I enjoy myself. You believe that shit? This and me have played golf. 250 like, yard drive, baby. 250 yeah. yard drives. Uh -huh. Happy and Gilmore. Can't, and can't put the ball in the cup from three feet away. But anyways. Happy Gilmore, baby. Yeah. So, you're not for it. I'm not for it. I think our mayor is an idiot. Our mayor is I think he should be replaced. Have you ever met our mayor? I did. I saw him at the uh, grocery outlet on Wilson Way. Grocery outlet on... About two days ago. And what was he doing? He came in. With his, you know, his, his, Saturday, his, July 21st. So two days ago, the 19th. Thursday. And so he came in with a couple of people. I expect... I, I, you know, I assume it was out. It's on for He came in. I looked at him and smirked. He did like a little laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and he started talking shit about you know, to but the attendant. I know I knew the lady working there. No acknowledgement from him that. No, I, I give him no. He didn't say, "Hey, no, he Mister, how you doing?" He, you know? he looked at me and smiled, and I just kind of smirked at him. Like yeah. your an idiot, kind of laughed. You know what I mean? Because he is. He came in with a mohawk, black dude with the mohawk, if you can only picture it, and a okay. suit. And a suit. Looking mildly retarded. Mildly retarded. I'm good. And these are all just. Unfactual opinions of Peter Allen Bartlett. Yeah, yeah, no, he's looking mildly retarded. I've never met him, so. Um, I saw him. I, saw I, him. I did not want to meet him. Did not want to meet him, okay. So, so, just for look back on this later and say, hey, that was in 2018, right near my birthday. Uh, how is your recovery going? Good, good. I got eight months. Uh, it's celebrated on the 10th. You know, since I got clean, I've gotten a car. I, you know, I just moved into my apartment. Got a car, and your I car is a white, off-white, off 2005 Dodge Magnum, which is a long ways from where we started, because you originally were on a three-wheel bicycle when I first met you, which I really missed, because it was one of the coolest things to see around one of his little three-wheeler running around town. Saturn, it didn't have reverse, so I had to, you know, push it back. No, I never saw that car. So, and you have an apartment now. You got an apartment. Yeah. Actually help somebody else in off the street so they didn't have to be in a bad situation. Uh, going through recovery now, eight months, right? Um, what else? How's job going? We working? I'm uh, currently looking for work. I got let go about a week ago. 20 people from the job I was at, it was a temp tire position. They, you know, they were let go. You're still doing something now. You're still doing Yeah, something. no, I, I always have a job and I'm always making money because money won't make itself That's for right. anybody. You it's one of the necessities of life. Yeah, yeah. As, I mean, as much as money is the devil, it's... Not a little, for the love of money is the devil, but... The devil's seed. Money is a tool. That's true. That's how I look at it. I do pay my bills, go out to eat, put gas in my car. It's just, it's, I take the look on money a little bit more simpler than I did before, because I liked to buy shit. I really didn't know how to differentiate from buying stuff and managing my money. Now that I don't have a job, I look at the money that I have, Think okay, this has got to go towards bills, gas, food. Yeah. So everything else is good, yeah. All is well. All right, all is well. So for all of you that didn't know this beforehand, that's Peter Allen. I called him up today to come over here and help me move some of these things in the back, set up this new media area, put up the background you see before you. There's a light right up there, which you cannot see, that is taking a lot of this glare crap off of me because the light that I had up and up that way was a bunch of shit. Um, 
I just, I, I've had Chris Howard here. I've had Vanessa, my daughter, one of my daughters. What did you talk about Vanessa? Uh, Vanessa and I talked about Father's Day. We talked about the meaning of a, of a father, the difference between a father and a dad, what I meant to her as a father growing up, and it was about 20 minutes long, a few tears and here and there, and, you know, and I'm hoping to get all my kids on here. And so, Peter, uh, my wife's been on here, I think, once with me, kind of walking by as I threw something at her, but um, so Peter Allen is our third guest here, I guess you'd say. And he loves being a little show off back right there. I, got some, I just got some weights too, my roommate. Hey, roommate. Just got some weights. Comes with a set of weights. That's cool. So that was a plus. Every morning now, I'm going to start hitting them motherfuckers. So, he's Peter Allen. And you know me, I'm Dumber Wood. And it's been a great 21 minutes here talking about some off the wall things and some getting some opinions and. Just kind of doing a little video documentary with a real good friend of mine, and uh, I think I thank him for coming over today. And uh, if it wasn't for his help, there's a lot of things around here I wouldn't have gotten done today. It required two people and just a little heavier than my wife's able to help out with. And so we uh, we got a lot done today, and we got had taco truck for dinner. Went to Home Depot, kind of just chilled around, got some figured out this shit. He did for me. We're gonna go test it out in the car right now. Also, if you're interested, hike into the place of work. So, there's that. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Fucking. <laughs> okay. That's amazing. So, anyways, so this is what the last thing I'm going to say. This is Peter Allen. You know who the fuck I am. This, if you want to learn how to do this, you do not know how to do it yourself. Peter Allen Bartlett. B is spelled Bartlett. B-A-R-T-L-E-T-T. -T. Peter Allen Bartlett. Look him up on Facebook. Friend him on Facebook. Or just send him a private message. Or call him on his phone number. Call him on his phone number. 209-430-9517. Bam! Just like that. So if you need to... He also does fire stick, cable, I don't know, whatever. So you'll figure it out. But if you need, <laughs> need help with any of these things... Getting your music from here to here so you can better listen to it in your car. Call Mr. Peter Allen. He'll hook you up. He'll help you out. Message him. Friend him on Facebook. Do whatever you got to do. Get a hold of him. He has a lot of things he can do for you. You need a hole dug. You need you anything, man. He needs some work. Master of all trades. No. What is it? Jack of all trades, master of none. Of all trades, masturbator of none. So, anyways, so if you need a you need a whole dog, you need a fence built, you need any help with anything, gardening, taking out a bunch of trash, or cleaning out your garage, out. a whole dog out, whatever you want. Uh, all right, this is going nowhere. You want the interview? Peter Allen Bartlett. I finally got him to loosen up. So, if you need to get a hold of him for anything, he's always down to make a few bucks. Let him know. And he's reliable, he's good. On a phone call, he was here in 15 minutes on no notice. Good job. You know me, I'm Delmer Wood, bitches. Don't you forget it. See you next time.